Delighted to say that now joining me on the line is Mark Butcher. Hello, Mark. Good morning. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? <laughs> yeah, not so bad, not so bad. Good, good. Now, how have you been enjoying the ICC World 2020 so far? Yeah, it's, it's been very interesting. Um, not not surprising in many ways, although I guess India going out would, mm. be, uh, would be a bit of a shock to many. Um, but other than that, I think it's you know, the, best, the best four sides of, of without any question left in the competition. Now, if we just sort of turn our attentions to England, uh, obviously as, uh, as a former international yourself, uh, what did you make of their defence of the title? It was certainly pretty disappointing, wasn't it? Um, yeah, um, but I think not altogether surprising. Um, if you look at the, the relative experience of, uh, of England's team, not only in, in World 2020 cricket or in world competitions, but also in terms of their experience, in uh, subcontinent conditions, um, I think it was all altogether pretty much as, as much as you could expect. I said at the beginning, before it started, that a semi-final spot would be something of a victory for that particular squad, um, and it turned out that they weren't quite good enough to make it. Now, obviously, this tournament hasn't quite gone as, as England would have liked, but there are some extremely talented young cricketers. You've mentioned a few there already: Josh Butler, Johnny Bairstow, <coughs> and Joe Root. If we're looking at the Test sides, do you foresee a, a reasonably bright future in the next two or three years? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure that there'll be a massive amount of turnover in terms mm. of the, the current England Test lineup. Anyway, um, you know, the, the, the established players of, of Trot, Bell, Cook, um, dare I say, Peterson. Um, you know, I've definitely missed out a couple, but, but uh, we'll we'll be there for the next, you know, at least for the next two or three years. Um, so that, I'm not sure that there's going to be a massive amount of turnover in, in the Test arena. But yeah, it certainly seems as though, that in terms of particularly in terms of one back cricket, there are some very sort of fine strikers, um, powerful strikers of the ball, Bairstow and, and Butler being sort of the prime examples of that. Um, likes of sort of batsmen who are might have long test match careers and, and for that you'd look at look at Joe Root wouldn't you guys that go out there and, and occupy the crease and can, and can bat for a day a day and a half in traditional test match sense there are, there are perhaps not quite so many of them um, so uh, it'd be interesting to see how Root does if he gets a game and it'd be interesting to see if Nick Thompson can turn his, his obvious quality and uh, his patience and his run gathering ability um, in counter ticket into, uh, into something similar in the test position I will sort of come on to Kevin Peterson very shortly, Mark, but so from a former Nottinghamshire player to a current Nottinghamshire player, we were particularly impressed the way Samit Patel batted in that final game. Are you sort of, where, where, where do you stand on him? Could, be, could he be a sort well, of like I mean, performing... I've, I've in, always been a fan. I've, I've been a very, a, a very, very big fan, simply because of all of the things that I talked about in terms of body position, footwork, playing the ball late, being never knocked the ball into gaps on, on slow turning subcontinent pitches. He's about the best we've got. Um, I've watched him over the last three or four years for Nottinghamshire and, and where maybe he might not find a way into the England team in, in, in home conditions or in conditions in, in somewhere like Australia where a second spinner wouldn't be necessary. But any time England go on the subcontinent, whether it be in Test cricket or one day cricket, then it would tell man, as far as I'm concerned, should be on the list. Is he a, an all-rounder or, or a batsman who bowls a bit for you? Well, I think, I think he's a... I think he's a <laughs> His, his bowling is decent without being mm -hmm. well beating, it has to be said. But in, in conditions whereby you, you would need five bowlers instead of just the four, i.e. anywhere on the subcontinent, where you might want to play a second spinner, he does what England like, and that is he lengthens your batting. He's very, as I said, he's a very fine player of spin um, with the bat, and, and he bowls. He can, you know, he's more than a bit part player as a, as a, as a fifth op bowling option. So, yeah, I mean, he's... He's a battery bowler, but he's, he's a little bit better than that. 